What's up everyone, it's Joey, Blush Response, and today we're checking out the Waldorf Microwave XT. Let's get right into it. All right, so we've got the legendary Waldorf Microwave XT here. This is, in my opinion, one of the kings of wavetable synthesis that was unrivaled until quite recently. Only now, when you have new competitors like the Hydra Synth, the Mod Wave, and the Quantum, do we finally have synths that can take on the XT? The XT has a beautiful, special, rich, sort of lo-fi crush sound. It's really, really pretty, really bright, really elegant, and also really nasty. And you can get super nasty with it. And I just think it's super special. Uh, and I want to show it off. I'm borrowing this one from Face Fatale. Check out his music. He's awesome. Let's get right into it. So I've got a little sequence coming from the Octa track, and I've just got an initialized patch. And we're just gonna kinda go through the different functions. You've got two oscillators. There's a mixer, there's a rig modulator, noise. So both oscillators have to be on the same wavetable. And uh, you choose that with this red knob here. There's 64 wavetables, and you could also add user wavetables at some point. So uh, there were options to get like the Prophet VS waves and other stuff available online. And we're just hearing one oscillator now. You can see, scan through the waves, get different wavetables, different waves, excuse me. We'll choose a different... I always like this mallet synth one. So let's talk about this aliasing menu. You have this quality section and you have... You have sort of different aliasing and quantization errors you can introduce. As you can see when I bring it up, it sort of makes it more bit crushed. And that is to get a more vintage PPG microwave one line, but like sound. And you can see you have between clipping and uh, saturation clipping and overflow clipping. That's for the gain into the filter in the VCA section. Turn up the gain. We'll bring up oscillator too. Which mind you, they're both on the same wavetable, but you can have different start waves. You can detune it a bit. Bring up the release. You can already hear that really beautiful Waldorf sound. I'm gonna use the modulation matrix to do some some wave morphing. Now there's also built-in wave envelopes. They're complex time and level envelopes. If I'm being completely honest, I don't really like how they work, so I never fuck with them. But we're just gonna do LFO1, wave two position. do on the next one we'll do LFO2. Ooh. Glitchy on pitch there, huh? Let's see. So that's what I love about the synth. It has this really kind of broken early digital sound. <laughs> that was totally unintentional. How cool. Wow, trippy. Well, first happy accident of the night. But anyway, let's get that where it needs to go, which is wave two position, or wave one position, excuse me. You can see we got a lot going on there. We'll bring the amount on a bit. Just love the sound of this. And then you have FM. Coupled with this awesome filter. Very subtle. I've always thought Waldorf has really special digital filters. And to this day, the XT has some special filtering stuff that is not in the new Waldorf stuff, but we're going to get to that in a second. The first thing I want to talk about is this secret, or not so secret function, but it's just, it's quite interesting. If you go here to the amp page, you'll see 
There's this chorus here, and I don't know if this is like voice detuning or what it is, but when you turn that on, it just sounds beautiful. That's off. See, so we make a pad. That's beautiful. I love that chorus. Really, uh, really something special. So that chorus is really beautiful, but there's also the filters. You have your standard. Low pass, band pass, high pass. But then you have some really interesting ones like the Sign X LP. Now, what that is, is, as far as I understand it, it's using a sine wave shaper on the low pass. Which can get really nasty. And then there's also this wave shaper filter, which is such a fantastic idea. Basically, with the wave shaper filter, what you do is it sends, uh, it uses the current wave taper you're on to wave shape the filter. And I've never seen this in another synth, and it's such a great idea to have wave shaping like that. Of course, you know, this being a very old synth. The results can be really unpredictable. If we scan through the wavetables. It gets really nutty. Really unpredictable results. So I've always found it strange that this is not included in any other Waldorf synth. Like, they need to bring that to the Quantum. It's a flagship. You also have Filter FM, which gets FM from Oscillator 2. And that just sounds so rich. And I just put Oscillator Sync on Oscillator 2. You can get some crazy, crazy digital noise here. We haven't even gotten into the effects yet. This thing is pretty insane. So now go to the effects section. And the effects are honestly not the greatest, but it's cool to have them nonetheless, like this overdrive. You can see it's not the most, uh, it's definitely not the best overdrive. Ottawa bandpass.
Ottawa low pass, flanger, which I actually like the flanger in this one. Just listen to that. Trippy. Flanger one. I really think what's key here is this just has like a beautiful sound to it. It doesn't do so much as compared to modern sits by this point. You know, you have two LFOs, you got a couple extra envelopes. You have the modifiers, which are actually cool. You can do mathematical equations with two different uh, modulators, like source one could be LFO one, source two could be LFO two. And you could do addition, subtraction, multiplication, or and minimum value, absolute value, all kinds of mathematical stuff. We'll do multiplication. And then we'll go to the mod matrix. And we'll do modifier one. To pitch. It's just, just like crazy little noise. Yeah. Let's just get back to something simpler. Sinex LP. Get our sequence back. do some delay Of stock notes there. Just listen to those beautiful, beautiful wavetables. Start introducing some FM. You can get crazy fast. Oh. 
horrifying, horrifying. Let's get into that mod matrix. Because we got those modifiers going. I'll turn that off for now. Make the alphas really slow. And I just love the way it sounds when you pitch it down like that. Like I can listen to those wave tails forever. Oh man, disgusting. Let's get some drums going. We'll get some sequencing going. Get some techno. Yeah. Nice with a femme. Let's change wavetables. One of the big boy ones. Car plus strong. Get some filter envelope action in there. Use the wave shaper. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can see, you got a lot of gain differences in different waves. This is not as a refined experience as more modern sense, but that's why I like it.
just go turn that chorus off. See how different sounds. And those beautiful filters. We'll modulate those filters. From LFO1. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Such cold textures. It really does sound beautiful, like... Wow. Turn that chorus back on. That's what I mean, it's, it's just so beautiful. Like, it doesn't do everything, but it just sounds amazing. Look at that coldness. Bring it some FM. Love it. Fantastic. Ooh. Trippy. Listen to that. Oh, beautiful. This thing is really trippy. Really trippy. Not the bassiest thing ever, but does it need to be? Plenty of things can do bass. Lower the resonance on that.
bring back that weird pitch modifier. Change ways, Hibble. So trippy. Just what the fuck is happening there? Really sounds like nothing else. Lots of weight position modulation. So that was really fun. I think the XT sound is legendary and unique. There are moments in there that I heard sounds that I've never heard anywhere else that I remember from when I first had it and that I really love and treasure. Now in 2022, the feature set is not as modern as something like the Hydra Synth, the Quantum, the Mod Wave, the, the Modal Argon 8. They all do a lot more, uh, but I think the XT is a really special sound and some of the features are still missing in the quantum for example the sort of quantization aliasing stuff that beautiful chorus in the vca all the weird digital filter types i think waldorf should revisit those and bring them back as far as i understand the sinex lp filter is now in the waldorf m synth but the quantum is the flagship so let's see them come to there and i think the xt has value just because it's so strange i was getting really trippy sounds with it today that were easy to get to and fast just because of its compact feature set and interface and i really enjoy that one thing i don't like is clicking through the buttons multiple times to access different menus i must have gone over the same menu three or four times trying to get to it just because i was clicking the buttons a little too fast so that's annoying but it is a synth from almost 30 years ago so whatever uh I think it's awesome and samples of it are going to be on my Patreon. So if you subscribe, you can get sounds from that. Every other jam I do, you can ask me questions, learn from me, see exclusive videos, know what's up with my music. There's a lot on there. It would help me out if you subscribed. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe here as well as I'm going to throw an affiliate link for Perfect Circuit down there. If you buy any gear on Perfect Circuit through that link, I get a kickback. It would help me a lot. Thanks again. Peace out.